We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. President Biden arrived in town yesterday, albeit a bit late, which delayed all of the closures on the roads, which I'm sure everyone was thrilled about. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, And we even got that all staff email saying, hey, if you guys live over there, you can leave early because you're not going to make it home if you don't. And you know what the beauty is? All staff email sent. No one replied all. We had another one. And yesterday was pie day. Amberly brought pies to the station. No reply alls. I thought for yep. sure that would have been a treasure trove. Me too. And that was too. So, hey, good job. A think, round of applause for Beasley Las Vegas you know real what? quick. Good finally, job, you guys. finally. Good job, you guys. So proud of them. I think they know that they're all on watch now and <laughs> yeah. that we are going to read every stupid reply all that comes across our uh, desk. Uh, Biden's in town for a DNC fundraiser. Uh, he is speaking at a UNLV event today, propping up his prescription drug plan. He's going to be heading out around lunchtime today, resulting in several road closures in and around the airport for a full list of areas to avoid and when. Go to 1027vgs.com. Make sure you click and scroll. <laughs> uh, the Raiders continue making moves. Yesterday, they got New England Patriots wide receiver Jacoby Myers in a three-year, $33 million deal. It hasn't been all addition, though. Tight end Darren Waller, who's been a stud for the Raiders, was traded to your New York Giants, which mm-hmm. I'm sure you're thrilled about, mm-hmm. for a third-round draft pick. You may remember Darren just got married to Las Vegas Aces star Kelsey Plum like mm-hmm. less than two weeks ago. It, I thought it was last weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's insane. Um, she responded to the story on Twitter with, and I am so proud because I never get to talk about the drama here. She responded to well, RG3. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Is he RG3 on the, okay. was like, wow, this is so cold. Man, they just got married a whole nine yards. So she retweets this and responded to the story saying that head coach Josh McDaniels probably traded him because he wasn't invited to their wedding. <laughs> I loved that so much. I loved that so much. (laughs) Because we were talking, who goes to which wedding? Max Crosby has his wedding the same day. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, very, uh, very interesting. And I honestly, I feel bad for them because, yes, they're joking or whatever. But they they just got married. And and now it's like, oh, by the way, you're going to the East Coast. You're good. So they'll figure it out. And I know athletes and and celebrities do it all the time. But that's got to suck. I mean, yeah, but their seasons kind of overlap. A little bit. So, like, they're in busy, like, work mode, maybe. So, maybe, you know, hey, we'll have three months a year together. And then absence makes the heart grow fonder. Uh, The responses, by the way, to that tweet were fantastic. McDaniels burnt to a crisp. Seems like no one likes him. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have the best ones at 1027VGS.com. Make sure you click and scroll. (laughs) Uh, If you ain't driving over potholes all over the valley, try doing it at over 100 miles an hour. The week of April 2nd, portions of Sands Avenue connected to the course will be resurfaced. Then April 9th through the 19th, uh, May 19th, they are resurfacing the Las Vegas Strip itself. Not the whole thing, though, just the southbound lanes, because that's the lanes that they're going to be racing on. Then they're going to go to Harmon, then they're going to go to Koval and do the whole track. Um, F1 Las Vegas, by the way, uh, weekend of November 16th. The paddock is expected to be done by September, end of September. That's crazy. This is happening fast. I'm telling you, it's going to be bigger than the Super Bowl yeah. as far as money coming into town. And if we well, get them for nuts. 10 years like they're trying to do, oh, so good. What's so crazy, and I just can't I can't even fathom it, that that's happening in November, and three months later, Super Bowl will be here. Like, we are going to make so much money the end of this year, beginning of... I mean, we're making money right now. It's March Madness. I'm gonna right say, now. I'm going to say it right now. Super Bowl will be a net loser for the city because we already make almost as much money as a normal city that hosts the Super Bowl mm-hmm. makes. So I don't, I, I don't know. We'll see. I know F1 is going to make a ton. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like a billion dollar move yeah. every year. It's going to be great. Uh, the final result of Station Casino's Durango project is later this year. Las Vegas Review Journal got wind of something else you'll be able to expect there. Click hospitality behind a Mexican restaurant concept, Bel Air cocktail lounge, and a Bel Air backyard that's going to have a pool, the day beds. Uh, you know, the whole nine yards, bring food to your stuff. So, like, a little bit of, like, opulence coming to the Southwest. Mm-hmm. It's nice. We don't yeah. have to go to the Strip anymore or have to go to, like, the right. two big, big station casinos. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah. Uh, Lee Canyon, so much snow up there. They're actually extending their season. Ski and snowboard resort going to remain open through April 9th. Lady Rebels headed off to Louisiana yesterday. They're set to play in the NCAA Ladies Championship. First game is Friday at noon against Michigan. And VGK beat the Flyers 5-3 in Philly. They return to Vegas to face the Flames tomorrow.